days of access to easy and cheap money is coming to an end. Do you remember how easy it was to get a loan and mortgage at cheaper interest rates? Mortgage rates dropped to 2.8% earlier this year. Well, it's all coming to an end. In the last two years, Fed has printed almost $4 trillion due to COVID crisis, providing unlimited liquidity by buying $120 billion worth of bonds and mortgage-backed security every month, which is also called as quantitative easing. And in the last two years, Fed has almost doubled its balance sheet, reaching to almost $9 trillion. And now, as of June 2022, it's all coming to an end by reversing this, which is called quantitative tightening. Starting June, Fed is going to start selling their assets by $47 billion per month and ramping up to $95 billion in the next three months. And Wells Fargo study suggests that Fed will try to shrink its balance sheet by almost $1.5 trillion by the end of 2023. Well, you might ask, why is Fed doing this? The answer to that is quite complicated, but overall quantitative tightening is almost done to reduce the liquidity in the financial markets. Drop a like on this video and follow for